Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Drones Flight Academy and today we're going to talk about different type of situations that I get asked about a lot and that really it starts with what do I do and how do I pre prepare for when something goes wrong. I get a lot of new students that I teach and they get very sheepish with the controls and they get very afraid and very timid with it because they're afraid to do something wrong and because they don't know what to do and how to react to it. And also, I've been on site with other pilots that have actually crashed their drones and because they panicked. And panicking is the worst thing that anyone can do. So we're going to have this little video here to step you through some basic fundamentals that we teach in our flight classes to help you in these type of situations. So the very first thing is, and this is our basic fundamentals of our training, it starts with a flight plan and being prepared. If you're prepared and you look at the worst possible thing that can go wrong, then if that does happen, you're not going to panic. You at least know what to do. Therefore, you're going to keep your a level head and go ahead and be able to be prepared to deal with that. Now, you might be saying, what's the worst type of situations? Well, I can't get into all those different type of things, but I can give you a really good snapshot of what a lot of problems consist of. And that's what the automation functions on the drones. For example, all the DJI drones have what's called position hold. And they use the GPS system inside the drone to be able to control the X, the X and Y axis for the, uh, the holding of your copter so that you can be hands off. Usually, when you see any instability with your aircraft, it's a sure sign that something's going wrong with your automation. So the very first thing that I can recommend to you to do is turn off the all automation. So go out, and that would be in your, if you're looking for, like it's a DJI drone, the switch mode would be P for position hold. Go out of P and take it straight to Addy mode. And that will actually take all the automation and you'll be flying manually. So that goes ahead and steps as a segue into the next part of this video, which is being able to fly manually. A lot of people don't know how to fly manually, and it's a really, really important thing on how to be able to fly manually, and that's a, one of the basic fundamentals that we teach in our flight class. So when, and, and it starts with the very first flight lesson that I do with somebody, I'll go ahead and show them how it's like in position hold, and then I'll, what I call the training wheels, I take the training wheels off and go ahead and put it in manual and make them fly it manually. And the first reaction a lot of my students have is, holy crap, this is difficult. So if you go ahead and you know, get accustomed to how to fly drones and how to fly manually, um, which you can do very, you go out in a wide open park and you can practice that, you'll get a really good confidence level on that so that you can prepare for those type of situations. And that's really critical. So those are the main two ingredients to the success on how to prepare for when something goes wrong. It really does start with a flight plan. You want to be able to go out there, like see there's a cell tower behind me, and what I say is, so if we're going to go ahead and say we're going to inspect the cell tower, and I'm going to go ahead, before I get my drone up in the air, I'm going to have my plan of what, exactly what I'm going to do. So that might be that, say, I'm going to go ahead and get the drone up 15 feet in the air. And I'm going to have my plan of saying I'm going to go up about 150 feet and do an orbit counterclockwise around that middle rad of equipment. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to have what I consider emergency landing spots if something was to go wrong with the drone. So if I can't physically get it back to where I'm taking off for whatever reason, I'm gonna have an alternate spot that I know I can land safely. And or on a last ditch effort, okay, I'm gonna look at what areas that I can simply just put the aircraft down and crash it if I have to in, a, in the middle of, so that it doesn't hurt anybody or anything, any property, people, animals, cars, or whatever, I'm going to look at an alternate as a last ditch effort. I'm going to look at an all bailout uh, location where I can successfully do that. So as you can see, I have all these things going through my mind before I even get the aircraft up in the air. Now, that, you might be saying that's a lot. Well, but if you think about it, if you have that in, in mind, when something goes wrong, you'll be able to really be ready for it 
you'll be prepared and you'll know how to handle it. So therefore you really shouldn't crash and you really should never need come home and all this automation. So it starts with a plan and then simply know how to fly manually. Those are the real good key fundamentals of success that I, and they stud, those are the basic fundamentals of my flight class that I have. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. If you like this video and would like to see more drone training videos in the near future, please hit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Looking to learn how to fly drones like a professional? Steel City Drones Flight Academy has exclusive drone training content. So go over and check out SteelCityFlightAcademy.com for more information.